What is up guys, Euclid back here with you again and welcome back to my channel. Today, as an in-between during our Metro Exodus Let's Play series, is a little bit, it's going to be a little bit different. We're actually going to be doing a playthrough of a demo of an upcoming narrative-driven horror game known as Tether. Now, I've been contacted by, and I'm pretty sure a lot of content creators are being contacted by this company as we speak, by a group known as Free Sphere Entertainment. They have asked me and let me know, just notified me. They said, uh, <laughs> we actually had a pretty nice conversation. Yeah, looking through the messages right now, basically this same message. It says, hi, we just wanted to let you know we've released a free demo for our first person narrative driven horror game, Tether. The demo is around 20 to 30 minutes long. I'm sure this channel can find out a way to make it longer just to kind of get more out of it, so to speak. I said, I'll definitely make an effort to play it soon. How did you seek me out? And they said, I searched for horror games and Twitter and it came up with you. I hope you don't mind the DM. I said, I don't mind at all. I try to base my channel on a few select things and one of those is horror. We had a pretty decent little conversation. They thanked me for being cool. I thank them for contacting me. And we're going to go to their actual page for it. They're actually trying to raise financial support for the game. And after the game, if I really like it and everything else, I'm going to donate at least five bucks. Financially, I can't really donate a lot right now, but I can at least spread the word about a game, especially if it's promising and especially if it's horror. I've also been told that there may be a little bit of a Lovecraft vibe in this, if not a little bit of a Easter egg as they're calling it in this game. But regardless, the plot of the story, I really don't know about yet. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on the page together. Okay, so as you guys can see here on this page, it says right here, Tether. A downloadable game for Windows. Download now and name your price. I've already got the game downloaded. I didn't do a price yet just because I like to play simply before. If I have the chance to play first before I donate, I usually like to do that. It's nothing personal. I just want to check the game out and get a good look at it and everything. Plus, I don't have a lot of money right now. Now, as for the game itself right here, here's something that looks both calmer than the Murder Aliens for engine part shtick, but also more unsettling by Rock Paper Shotgun. Not bad. And it says here, taking a more contemplative approach then. Tether appears to portray its horror through isolation and self-reflection. Admittingly, admittedly, I'm a fan of non-combat exploration games, walking sims if you prefer, but I'm nevertheless intrigued to learn more about Leslie's tale and decisions she faces. So the character's name evidently is Leslie. And right here it says, this is an early vertical slice prototype version made in 2017 by a team of seven developers from all over the world in six months. The project is currently undergoing a redesign after two failed pitching events to publishers in some time away. A lot of dedicated people worked really hard on this, so it seems a shame not to let this project see the light of day. Any funds raised will go straight back to the development of the project. When extracting the project from the zip file, please use 7-zip as other software tends to corrupt some of the files needed. This is not an EXE version of the game. Xbox and PlayStation 4 controllers are semi-supported. So it's a definitely an in-the-making game and a, a game that's probably going to rely a lot on content creators spreading the word and obviously beta testers testing the game, finding bugs, and helping them correct it and get it to its more complete state. Right here it says in the description for the game, Tether is a first person adventure game based in a dilapidated science fiction world. Earth is dying after the collapse of several continents throughout the world following the destruction of the moon. Jesus Christ. Okay, I got my attention there. And it says, as natural disasters sweep the planet, the newly formed United Environmental Federation, or UEF for short, accelerate plans to terraform the nearest possible habitable planet. Mars. Oh shit. Uh oh. It's gonna be like a the prequel to Doom. No, but all jokes aside, this is gonna. This sounds like it could be interesting. You play as Leslie Hayes, a biological research assistant for the UEF, on her first deep space voyage to Mars. Once aboard the Sun, Leslie's thoughts turn to her children as she relives some of her final conversations before leaving. As catastrophic events unfold on the UEF Sun, Leslie is forced to survive the psychological horrors of isolation in deep space. Can she live with the consequences of her choices? How will these affect her children? Is this how motherhood should be. Then we'll go ahead and read off the development team's names as this is just the first I'm hearing about this game and it's just because they're kind of a smaller team so they're trying to get the word out there. Obviously I'm a big uh, fan of underdogs being kind of one myself so I like to uh, help whenever I can. Plus they came to me so I appreciate that and want to return the favor. It says right here, development team Mark Gregory, level and narrative design Ian McKemmett, if I pronounce it wrong I apologize, writer and design Nathan Winfield, programming and level design Callum Donaldson, sound design Eddie Kasabian, composer, Rachel Alderson, 2D Art, and the voice artists are Tamara Ryan, Leslie and Peter, Lucas Schunemann, Sean, Josh Muser is Max, Luke Benning is Celian, and Anna Chloe Mori is Kelsey. And obviously it says right here there's more information, and this just shows where the update is from. The rating, all five reviews so far, five out of five on this official page. And I will obviously leave a link to this official website below so you guys can choose to download the game. It's free to download, you can spread the word, at least help them report some bugs as I'll be doing after I play it. But uh, I think it's good that we go ahead and uh, peruse. Let's check out the trailer. Kind of see what we're going for here. I don't... I don't know how much time I have. Tell the kids. Tell the kids. 
kids, I'm sorry. I wasted time. Me, I, I did. I didn't stop to think. I didn't listen. I've been so selfish. For what? Family or the job. And I picked the job. Workaholic. I just want to go home. I want to see you. Just, just know that I love you all. I love you. And I'm sorry. Tether. Okay. Pretty cool. So this is going to be a little bit of a different video. Another thing to add to it. Usually we do trailer reactions and stuff separately and everything. But I'm going to do a kind of an all-in-one where this is a new project for me and everything. I think uh, this is looking pretty cool so far. The demo is downloaded. I say we go ahead and jump into the demo and explore the world of Tether. Alright guys, welcome to Tether. The narrative-driven survival horror game by Free Sphere Entertainment. I really apologize guys, it's just... It's not that I haven't heard you. I have not heard of you before, but I'm glad to be here and I'm honored to be included in this. It says right here, controls, PlayStation 4, Xbox, PC. We'll get a PC. Movement, WSAD, per normal. Flashlight is F, interact and throw. Space, zoom, shift is sprint. Control to crouch. So the controls are awesome. This is like alien isolation controls. This is like most survival horror controls. Let's... Let's start. This is a new experience. Mommy? Mommy, are you all right? Oh, Jesus. Mommy's fine, Peter. I'm just resting. Uh-huh. I thought you were dead. Peter! The fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Hallucinations, great. We've already got, like, that space madness shit you see in so many shows. All right. Oh. Well, the level's looking good. There's our phone. Took the last of my meds last night. I need to go to medical and get Felix to refill my prescription. Okay. Oh. Read this. I carry it in my heart. Leslie, I know I've been difficult these past few months, but I want you to know I love you. Come back to me soon. Yours always, Sean. All right. So already, guys? Michael, Daddy, me, Peter, and Mommy. They stayed at home and took care of the kids. I can already say that I like the world we're in. Okay. When you crouch, you literally crouch. So you can even... They gave us the ability to sprint, so we're going to be running from something even if it is our own hallucinations. Stay positive. Work hard. Make it happen. Yeah. Okay, so looks like there's another tablet here. That symbol looks strangely familiar. Painkiller, highly effective. I can't pronounce that because I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, guys. I think it says dexomethylafentanil, whatever. 800 milligrams tablet, painkiller tablets, two tabs on, two tabs daily, max dose 10 tablets used before, RX, did them all, FMT pharmacy, Dr. Stainer NS. It just sometimes it pays to, to know. And then you got this. Ooh, okay, so this, this little demo as you guys made it out to be, oh, it's just a little demo we got. I like the humble nature of it, guys, because already this is this is feeling interactive. I like having shit to read and to do, and it makes me feel like I'm immersed in a world. This 
a game like this could give me my fix. I've been craving like that alien isolation feel, but this could have its own and it could replace it. That would be nice. But I'm getting excited. Let's continue. So it says here, UEF, no network connection, battery 16%. Yeah, that's a workaholic for you. He's never has time to charge. Fell asleep before charging her. Personal log, Leslie Hayes, last entry. August 2nd, 2070. I'm starting to lose it. The hallucinations are getting worse. I'm not sure when I last left my bunk. It's getting harder to tell what's real and what's just remembered. I'm out of meds. Need to get to medical to get more. Earlier entries. July 21st, trying to remember the month. July 21st, 2070. I can't tell if writing helps me stay lucid or if it just helps me pretend that I am. Maybe it doesn't matter. When I am lucid, I think we can't bring this back home. We can't let this sickness spread. We can't subject the world to our failure. I can't subject my children to my failure. And I write my thoughts down, but it doesn't matter. When I wake up, I'll read it back and wonder what I meant. It says here... July 7th, 2070. It's worse than we thought. Hallucinations, false memories, lost time, days and weeks at a time, false memories, hallucinations. She's repeating herself. I miss my children. I miss Sean. If it was all for nothing anyway, should I have stayed? Stayed with them? It all seemed so important then. All those months ago, two years gone on this worthless mission. More if you go all the way back. Birthdays, first days of school, first dates. I wasn't there. I was literally a world away. But I write to remember, I write to remember them. June 8th, 2070. The secondary symptom of the tether are difficult to describe. Felix says it's amnesia, but it's not. Not quite. It does take your memories so much as, I don't know, rearrange them? Stack them, one on top of the other, like transparent slides until you're not sure what happened then. Did you guys hear something that's fucking weird? It's the music, the ambience is gonna fuck with my head. It feels so good to play a horror game again, honestly, too. Or what's happening now? Like the other day, I thought I heard Sean's voice. Of course, it's impossible. He's back home with the kids, and I'm stuck. Stuck out here with my memories. May 31st, 2071. Felix has suggested we start writing things down rather than using the dictaphones. Says, says writing keeps the brain more active and will help with the memory loss. He also prescribed galantamine galantamine to the entire crew. A bit alarmist, I think, but better safe than sorry. The scientist wouldn't be much without our minds. Personally, I'm just thrilled to bear witness to the first measurable instance of fourth dimensional manipulation. Yeah, that's cool as fuck. Okay. Okay. I'm willing to... What is this? Chocolate, 85 grams. I'm gonna look, search this whole fucking area, dude. There's no half crouch, it's just gibberish. Kinda get caught in the desk if you jump on it, guys. Or what barbarian jumps on a desk? I want to see what this says. To whom it may concern, hey, you're not going to be able to tell. Look at this vent. Uh uh. Oh, it's a shower room. Okay. That's fucking creepy, but cool at the same time, I guess. Number 12. And that's her son. Kind of a cartoony vibe to the characters themselves. That's cool, though. Of Lone Headstones, George Bossanegra. Huh. Key card. Seventy-two degrees in 
inside this dump. I don't want to go quite yet. I feel like I'm missing something. Drawers under the bed, under the shelves. I feel like that we're not missing much of anything, really. Okay. I think we're ready to venture off. Our, our work tablet's pretty much dead, but we got our key card, I guess. Wicked. Kicked. There's, like, hairsprays and stuff like that. And it looks like Mucinex and some other sinus medicine. Doesn't matter where you go, fucking sinuses are everywhere. I don't know how I feel about this. We're not going that way. We'll go this way. <laughs> no fucking thanks. Quarters. It's in the crew quarters. Celian. What happened in here? Jesus. I always knew he was a bit off, but... It's hard to imagine him doing all this. Well, looks like he definitely did. Exploring the moon, discovering Earth, celebrate Apollo, Apollo, four years. Nah, something went wrong. Some kind of space sickness or something. Oh, I love it though. I love the environment. I love. We, we're so cozy living safely behind our screens, playing these video games where our characters are subject to hell itself. All right, let's see what he got down here. UEP, no network connection, battery 16%. I would change the percent, guys, for those of you that are watching as far as feedback for the demo goes, just to kind of change it up. From mom. DJames at somail.net to me, CF James, UEF Gov. Date Tuesday, September 4th, 2068, so two years ago, at 1027 a.m. Subject, proud of you. Dear Celian, I'm sorry to have sent this message, to have to send this message, but Daddy died last night. I know you didn't want to know anything, but I thought it was important before you go, just in case you wanted a chance to say goodbye. Even now, after all these years, you could still put your anger to rest. Your father loved you, in his fashion, and he was so proud of what you're doing. I can hardly believe it myself. Mars, my little baby, a big grown-up astronaut, just like you, always wanted. I can't believe two years will have passed when I next see you. Seems so short and so long at the same time. We'll miss you. Reach and I will be waiting for you when you get back. And you're going to tell us every last detail. I love you so much, and I am so proud of you. Hugs and kisses, Mom and Reach. P.S. About the insignia, I hope you're not upset. I enclosed it because Daddy would have wanted you to have it. I really think you should keep it, just for something to remember him by. P.P.S. Have an amazing journey. I love you. No access to the bathroom. Some batteries, a journal, a cup. It seems to me that there really isn't a lot of extra stuff to explore, but I dare not underestimate these guys. The world already looks really cool. I like how, how well the game seems to play. Terminal offline, okay. Just in case. A ball. You are here, quarters. Storage, warehouse, maintenance. I guess we should try to memorize this, but that's not gonna be easy. Lounge in the meeting room and medical to the left. We need to go down this hall.
Yeah. Are we in lockdown? I'll have to find another way through. Yep. That's blood. Someone died. Someone fucking died. Okay. Yep, someone died. Ooh. Blood. Kelsey. Max. Oh no. Oh god. Holy fuck, dude. Like okay. I love a good mystery. As much light as possible so my pants ass. Condoms Max. Six dollars European, looks to be. Unless I'm that's the wrong thing. That's probably the wrong so Paste TM six pack. Smoking. What does that say? Be a voice, not an echo. All these motivational things to keep them chill. That's disturbing. You're not the same person you were a year ago, a month ago, or a week ago. Experiences don't stop. Stay positive. Fucking Christ. Ooh, okay. Okay. So, I'm having trouble reading the note. We'll do it this way. Max left yesterday. Maybe a week ago. My brain's not right. I've been forgetting things. Losing time, hours, days. There we go. It's so hard to tell up here. It's always night. Just make sure to fix the the letter and all that stuff. Cause this is an early game, but this is nice. I like this and that that echoey. It's creepy as fuck. Maybe we could go. Losing time, hours, days. It's hard to tell up here. It's always night. I feel the change within me. It's really there. I can feel it growing. It's not Max. I know that now. The seed came from the night, from all the dark outside. It's in me, growing and changing. And I've never felt so whole. Oh, that's fucking creepy. Two chicks. Looks like living here. I'm probably not paying enough attention to realize that one of them is probably just a family member. Okay. The fact that there's all this blood right away. Yeah, I think as much light as possible is a good thing. Relationship wasn't exactly in well order. Yikes. Oh boy, time to shit her pants. Oh yeah. Blood trails. This is a long fucking vent to be stuck in. Oh 
Okay, you know, fuck that noise. Literally, fuck that noise. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're in a new area. We don't have an active map. Or an inventory. That's locked down. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm not emotionally prepared for multiple options. Just l let me be linear. So I'm getting Alien Isolation slash Doom vibes. What are in these pods? Power. Hello? Hello? I like the voices, though. Is everyone? Whoa! Fuck me! Oh shit! Is that a kid? Or a girl? From my point of view, it seemed like it could have been a woman, but... It's Sean! Yeah, she's kind of trying to... Fuck off, Sean. You're hurting my eardrums, you Sean. motherfucker. God, it sounds so real. Exactly like I remember it. Really good work on the voices, you guys. Honestly, I, I do like the uh, I like the first person narration here. It's really cool. Falls hurt. Always ensure a strong grip. Boots. Work boots are essential. Don't rush. Take your time. Low visibility is a danger in itself. Work safely with ladders. UEF. There's a recording. Oh boy, canisters are open. It's all falling apart now. I knew it would. Those scientists and their hubris building that mindfuck machine as though they weren't educated enough to see it was too good to be true. Duty and fear defeated them. They worked too quickly, too blindly. They took things for granted. Made like the fabric of the universe was more than just something they dreamed up in a lab. Greatest scientific observation is this. Reality is not merely stranger than we imagine. It's stranger than we are capable of imagining. Yeah. Everything else is just paperwork. But there's no paperwork now. Not anymore. The shadows are back. Worse than before. And I know who's to blame. Maybe it's time I do something about it. Sound like he was thinking about killing himself. So we're stuck in here. I hope I didn't miss anything in that first section by coming down here first, but there's no way we could have known. Maybe I could replay it later. Oh boy. Oh boy.
Is that all oil that's spilled? It's not blood, it's like the dragging grates of this handled forklift here. I don't know which way to go first. I guess the path. Jeez. Uh-uh. Not yet. I am not going that way yet. <laughs> Fuck that noise. Set up once and I'll... Set up once and I'll say it again. Warning, high voltage. Yep, it's linear. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a rat maze, which I like when it comes to horror. Okay, well, there's something over by that door. I'm getting there's literally nothing there. Yep, that's fucked up. Okay. And there's a creepy camera watching us. I'd like to throw something at it, to be honest with you. Can we? Nah. Oh. Let's see if we can. I'm gonna try and hit that camera. What the fuck was that? Okay, that was my hammer. <laughs> Stupid ass. What the fuck? Cable killer strikes again. You're in for a shock. Always follow safety instructions around electricals. Maintenance. Welcome to maintenance. Oh. Max told me the essence of science is curiosity. But this too was a lie. The essence of science is control. Control variables. Control the world. Phew. The truth out of the universe. Carve it open just to figure out what makes it tick. But control's a funny thing. The more you have, the easier it is to lose it. In the absence of control, necessity takes over. The will to survive blends with the creative impulses. Shit. And that's when the real discoveries get made. Discoveries about yourself. I discovered myself at the end of the tether. And tether. I became awake. Stop talking like that, you fucking psycho. Uh oh. I'm stuck. Well, this was, uh, not intentional. I don't know how to get out. Unless there is a way out. Oh, the reset. <laughs> Start all over again, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reset this shit. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna backtrack for a second here since I had to restart the game because I got myself stuck. But that's good because that just helps them solve a problem for later. There is something over here that I missed. So, it definitely pays that we restarted. You were here by storage. Creepy as fuck. Some kind of old school heater. 
Take this time to celebrate. Enjoy and relax. A job well done, team. Captain Jacob. And there's obviously a little voice recorder here. I love finding audio logs and voice logs as I'm it's a fuckload of tape, parts, circuit boards. And like I said, this is storage. There's a little bit of everything here. Look at that old lantern. That's out of place, isn't it? Uh, Kelsey's starting to lose it a little. She's not going crazy or anything, but she's off focus. Talking about kids, talking about anything to make a distraction for herself. It's making me... It, not that it's making me angry, it's just changing my experience. I thought it would be life-changing, but it's more repetitive. That's not good. So, I do feel like, not necessarily, like I, w I know this crew very well, for those of you that free spirit that are wanting some kind of feedback, but I do feel like I'm a part of this world now. At this point, I do feel relatively immersed. There's a few things I'm finding that... We basically need to make it to where the game prevents idiots like me from getting stuck. Because <laughs> I will try to get out of the level. That's the thing. Linear is good. Getting out of the level is good if it's meant to be. But this is early. As far as looks go, it does look good. Like, this is a game that I can't wait to play all the way through. So... Is it a girl or it's a kid? You little shit. Your ass is fucking grounded now. Oh, your ass is grounded. Okay. So I'm glad. God! Pretty close to where we were before. Scrape marks. Make them a little more curved. Won't go there quite yet. This was a dead end, wasn't it? Yep, dead end. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Entering this room kind of gives me a Soma vibe. Yeah. That kid's bike. Uh, it's fucking creepy. I just want to take this hammer and throw it as a camera. It'd be hilarious if the lens busted. That's right. I don't remember what this one said, so forgive me, guys. I'm going to play it one more time. Max told me the essence of science is curiosity. Excuse me. This too was a lie. 
itchy, yes, itchy. Science is control. Control variables. Control the world. Beat the truth out of the universe. Carve it open just to figure out what makes it tick. But control's a funny thing. The more you have, the easier it is to lose it. In the absence of control, necessity takes over. Yeah. The will to survive blends with the creative impulses. And that's when the real discoveries get made. Discoveries about yourself. I discovered myself at the end of the tether. And I became awake. Well, we're out in space. We're trying to get to Mars and terraform it so that we can leave and it can be basically our second Earth. Cosmic horror, baby. I don't need monsters to be fucking freaked out. And so far, if so far I'm a little, I'm a little on edge. Now we're, now we're somewhere where we haven't been in the level yet. This is more than 20, 30 minutes. Peter, it oh. can't be. That way looks a little more sketchy. Let's go this way first. Shit's getting weird. Shit's getting weird. Can't go in there. Terminal offline. I feel like something's gonna fucking creep up behind this. The cameras are watching us. <gasps> Shit. Locked. And I don't know the code. Negative. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Fuck, what is that? Did I just fucking fail the game? These voices and visions. What's happening to me? You're losing your fucking brain, chick. You're lo you're going crazy. We've all seen enough movies to know. Okay, yeah, because seeing movies makes us experts. Uh, um, things, things are getting worse. Kelsey's ill. She's driving herself into a delirium state. Oh, God. I don't know how it got this bad. I mean, was I ignoring her? Why she's sick? You tell me, my dude. I don't have a fucking clue. Be a team player. Always wear gloves. Protect yourself and your colleagues. To do: fix monitor and meeting room. Change the light bulbs and gallery. Restock tampon dispensers. Refill soda machine. Extra orange soda, Leslie. Yes, yeah, so our character really likes orange soda. We learned a little bit about our character. Door code 0451. I have to remember that. Science is a waste of time in space. <laughs> Science is a waste of time in space. Albert Einstein. Nice. Ever vigilant, the cameras. Cleanup duty. Kelsey, Leslie, Max, John all did their duty. Uh, Simon, no, Celian, skip at your own risk. Kelsey and Felix. The Celian's marked out. Max was here. <laughs> okay. Memorandum. Date. April 28th, 2070. To staff. From Kelsey Jones. If I get one more... 
if I get one more direct message asking for the code to electrical, I'm going to kill someone. Since you guys can't be bothered to look at the whiteboard unless you're drawing drawing dicks on it, here's the combination for the door for the record. Door code 0451. Cheers, Kelsey. I feel like we should explore before we go through that door though. Nothing. It doesn't seem like there's any electricity going to the door. No power, my dude. And that camera. Ever, ever vigilant. So now we're in the warehouse. And I don't know what these rooms are that are marked like in a blotchy red. You want to know what I love about horror games like this? The ambient light of clues left behind. That's what I loved about ODST's exploration with Halo 3 ODST. Even though it wasn't horror, it had that... That 0451, right? I'm just going to go for it. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Hey, girl. I love how interactive the keyboard was, though. Okay. We are looking for power. Okay. It swooshed. The power surge may have blown the fuse. Can I not interact with it? I'm guessing we have to do something in here. Yeesh. These vents are creeping me the fuck out. Is that a flashlight? That's exactly what that is. So I can't really do anything. I think we have to put a fuse back here. So we need to find. This is a flashlight, right? Unless my eyes deceive me. Yeah, it's a flashlight. It obviously looks like one, but I just wanted to be sure. I'm not finding a fuse in here, though. So. There a fuse in here? Your objective isn't just laid out for you easily either, which I do kind of like. There's got to be a fuse or something in here. Okay, so I feel like we're semi-stuck here. We're going to be searching for a little bit. So guys, I'm an idiot. I didn't realize you could actually open drawers. And uh, came down here. What would you look at that? I found a fuse. 
There we go. Power has returned to the facility. Not good. Go back the way we came. Feel a little better about there being power in the facility again. I'm glad I'm not down there. That place looks eerie as shit. We probably don't even visit the cargo areas, but who knows. Okay. Worn out old boxes. Boxes look rough, like they're ancient. All right, new area. Ooh. Got eerily quiet. Fuck me, fuck! <laughs> Fucking Christ, dude! Well done! That was awesome! Oh my God. Jesus Christ! Then, that thing, it was like all the shadows came alive and just... Keep it together, less. Just a bit further. Oh, God! That's where the blood leads. Fuck y'all. Jesus. Yeah, Soma vibes. That ball is always where he the hell was. was that? that voice. It was familiar somehow. My card won't open this door. I'll have to find another one if I want to get into medical. Son of a bitch. Okay. Let's get that creepy ball. Hang in there, Soam. This is a separate room. Yeah, before we go into the fucking whispering hell hell room, let's uh there are areas you can miss that you just don't seem to go back towards. Lights flicker on and off. I'm just fucking creepy. Keep hope alive. You're protecting the future of mankind. That's eerie. Eerie as shit. Frivility. Hope for a superior galaxy. Into the beyond, through the vast unknown, reaching an uncertain but exciting future. More like terrifying, dude. Not good. Yeah, that's what I'll be drinking. Constantly be drinking coffee. Select a drink. Chocolate, chocolate. They all say chocolate. Onion rings. All the little details. You know, they could have been lazy and not included every little name, but they did do that. They they included them. Balls are very bouncy in this game. What does this say? 
Believe in another way. Together, we can achieve a united mankind. We got here. All right. Transcript author Maxwell Jones. Last updated nine 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 e hours ago. What the hell? Made it back to the lounge. Won't go out again. Won't get lost again. How long was I out there this time? How would I even begin to know? The moment stretch and twist like the hallways of the sun, doubling back, trapping me in. This is what Kelsey felt. I know it. I watched her adrift in madness before slipping off to another, deeper kind. I can feel myself slipping too. Have to keep my mind occupied. Have to keep thinking. I tried counting, but the numbers got too big. And I got stuck in them, so I switched to writing. Can't keep it up for long. I can already feel the meaning slipping beneath the words. And there's someone in the walls. I, I see him out of the corner of my eye and in the flickering lights. I hear him whispering to me. I feel his breath on my neck. Celian? That was my guess. Where Celian is kind of already thought to be fucked. My thought process is that he has become this very monster they keep talking about. That orb, I thought it was a head floating out of the... That's creepy. I'm looking for this supposed... Now the recording on the ground. Oh, body! We got a corpse! Told you so. This is fucked. Never stop being a good person. Oh my god. If she's as dead as a doorknob. Right. Do you know the worst part of it all? Is that from the outside, no one's going to understand. I'm isolated, all right. I see their eyes looking, judging. For what it's worth, I know I've gone off the deep end a little. I just want to be home. Whoa. Told you so. World line of a moving observer? The fuck? From the past to the future. Space elsewhere. Wherever elsewhere is that see that's creepy to know there could be stuff beyond. Safety is your responsibility. We got the key card that we need. Wow dude. You can kinda get stuck. That you didn't even have pants on, dude. This is tragic. Can we open those cabinets? No. That just blows my mind right there. That's honestly terrifying. Told you so. That's fucking creepy. I feel a little uneasy. I'm just like kind of waiting for the next bullshit to come out of the woodwork. All right. Let's see what kind of nasty piece of shit shows up now. It's we're alone, but we're not. Shut the fuck up. No. You are here. We're in the main hall. Going to medical. Oh boy. Peter? I can hear you. Just wait right there. Yeah, she's losing her damn mind, and that's what we're witnessing is the We're witnessing the loss of her sanity. Whew. 
Welcome to medical. Medical marijuana. Oh. Okay. Hello? Peter? Where are you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Where do we begin? Peter, this... It's all wrong. You shouldn't be here. Definite hallucination. We can read that in a second, I guess. Okay. I didn't really want to read it until after. Do you have to go? Yes. But why? To provide for the family, Peter. Adults go to work. That's the way of the world. But it's such a long time. We'll have our weekly video messages. God. It's not the same. It's very important that I go. You're young. You don't know how it used to be. We need this chance, Peter. As a species. What chance? A chance to survive. Survive? You know what survive means. To live. To be safe. S safe from what? Ourselves, mostly. What? Like me and you? It's complicated. Hard to explain. But you're saving us? I'm trying. This is fucked. Medical kits. I feel like that little thing is, it draws some kind of attention. Can't even read it. The hell? Emergency bandage stops bleeding. We're not picking up bandages. Oh! <laughs> you fuckers. Okay. That was tether. Well, that was interesting. Needless to say. The people at Free Sphere, I appreciate you guys sending that game to me, honestly. Wow, that was that was something else. I should have read more. There there's definitely more to be offered in this demo. Um it definitely is worth a, at least two or three playthroughs, which I'm gonna do once I'm done uh, editing this video and getting it put on, on YouTube. But uh yeah, let's go ahead and wrap it up and talk about this game and what I think about it. Well guys, that was Tether. Needless to say, and there's only one, literally one entity slash monster in the game. And it scared the shit out of me, because I felt like I was still supposed to run away. But there was nowhere to go, and it just cuts me off. De this demo is not only worth playing, it's free to play. If you don't have the money to uh, give towards it, I'm going to donate a little bit to it when I can. I'm just going to do about five today, and maybe a little bit in the future. But let's talk about the game. This is definitely supposed to have a cosmic horror vibe to it. It's supposed to make you feel alone. Um, a full game, I would want, this is a lot to ask I know but give me between 6 to 12 hours that would be amazing and that would definitely put you guys on the map as far as this game is concerned but well done the level looks good there's some objects when I look at like such as the cardboard boxes the inaccessible areas don't really bother me but they add that error that they, they, they add that kind of that um that feeling of 
smallness and insignificance. We can't get to the other levels and stuff like that. But that also goes with the cosmic horror side of it and everything. Going back to uh, reading these comments and everything, and going back to reading what it says here on their tether page, this is really cool. I'm really glad they reached out to me, and obviously this is a really good way for me to get back into horror games and put it back on my channel. But as far as this game, it is definitely worth any horror fan's time worth playing. It's more, again, narrative driven. You're going to be reading a lot of notes. You're going to be catching up on yourself and finding things out. But it looks like something happened to these people. There's this collective shadow, and uh, there's a hunch that I have, and I think the main character, the main protagonist, has that character that written down that note has that it's Celian. So none of the characters are anywhere to be found. We don't know where they are. There's none of them are in the crew quarters. The place is on lockdown. And I think that she's just losing her damn mind. I think she's alone in the facility. Everybody else has kind of died. She's starting to slowly find their bodies. Then again, they might have found a rift in space. It looks like there was some kind of void between elsewhere and space. And where is elsewhere? And what comes from elsewhere? But as far as the game goes, it's definitely something that I would pay if, if for a full length game I would pay 20 to 30 bucks for this game for narrative driven it's not my normal I like survival horror but narrative driven horror it's still creepy it still throws me on edge and there's still jump scares but they're not cheap there is an event and it's, it's just continuous and it's just this enveloping feeling and you're cornered and I like that I really enjoy that aspect of this game. Tether is awesome. I found myself. It's like I found myself at the end of the tether. And tether? Like wh where? where is that? What is it somewhere in the game? Is it? Is it a location? Is it a mindset? Is it somewhere in space or somewhere in elsewhere? I don't know. It's almost like in their own way they're kind of wanting it for those that kind of catch the uh, the vibe of cosmic horror and those are wanting to kind of place it within the uh, I don't know there, there's a lot of things I could say about that but it's more supposed to be the kind of like related to it uh, I did like the kind of retro feeling to the technology but it was kind of new it was like the monitors and the devices and everything in the game had this blocky design to them but the screens were still kind of advanced in LCD but still I enjoyed it I kind of got a doom vibe on some of the level areas but mainly what I would say is there are some minor glitches and stuff that playtesters are going to be finding I I found a few places in the demo, but it's not to knock the game. This is a game you can play for free, and it's a damn good one. It's something that if I had a fully, give me four to six hours at least of a full campaign, give me a lot of stuff to read, a lot of things to find out, and also, if I don't go to one area first, don't let me discover things. Like, allow me to either backtrack or go somewhere else, or just just don't let me miss stuff. That, that, would, that would take away from the story, because if I don't know whether to go one way, like you guys saw in that first cut, I went one way, the ramp fell, but then I went back and I actually found the maintenance room and there was stuff in there I needed to find and everything there's stuff I need to go through and there's important notes and a message and if I had missed those you know it would taken away from the story but again this is an early build a very early build it's probably going to be a while before this game is even an alpha I I've really enjoyed it this was this was cool you guys at free sphere entertainment I really appreciate it, it was made with the unreal engine it's tagged as horror lovecrafty and narrative parenting psychological thriller sci-fi single player average session is about half an hour but per my usual let's play we kind of stretch it out and see what all we can find. So I enjoyed it. It was cool. It's got the green light to be on Steam. It's got keyboard, mouse, Xbox controller, PlayStation controller support. They're trying to keep it in mind for everybody. So it looks like it's going to be predominantly, as far as we can see now, a PC game. But for those of people that uh, maybe don't have it, this, this game has got a nice engine running on it. It does look very good for an early build. And it feels very interactive. I can do things. I can turn on and off lights. I don't have to. But the fact that it's there adds a little bit more to the level and makes it feel way more alive but uh, I, I like the lost man and then echoey screams you can hear in the background like that that let that lost soul vibe it's like they're there but their bodies are gone and we found that chick that was her body that was it and she didn't have pants on like she was terrified out of her mind like was she running through the vent did she get dragged through the vent and killed in that room we don't fucking no. We don't know if that vent was even a vent if it wasn't just some kind of wormhole and it just our mind basically prevented us from going nuts. Because when things happen and it's in human nature, I am not an expert. I am literally not a scientist. I don't know much about human genealogy, a biologist. I don't know anything about that. But what I will say is that the human mind, when intact and stable, will do anything it can, usually, to prevent you from being damaged mentally so it will cope it will it will provide things it will make you see things normally that, that aren't really there especially if you have a trouble comprehending it the mind will protect you and I think that's another reason like for example I knew somebody that got in a really bad wreck and they forgot things 
because of it. They didn't have, there wasn't serious damage or anything, but I think it was their mind's way of protecting them from such a traumatic experience. Maybe you guys could teach me, educate me on that. Why does the mind do that? That's interesting. But uh, this game was cool. Tether was cool. You guys at uh, that uh, Free Sphere Entertainment, sorry about the long video, but that is a custom. You asked me to make a video. Here is my video to you. Keep making this game. I will buy this game at full price. I just don't have the money for it right now, but I will be donating a small amount either this week or next week when I can afford it. So, guys, if you like the video, feel free to hit like. If you did not, leave a dislike with a reason why. And if you want to see more videos like this, as far as indie horror and others, such as my other playthroughs of Russian post-apocalyptic theme that we really go for with Metro and Stalker and others, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to keep in touch with me and uh, keep uh, my videos basically on the tap when they come out, then feel free to hit that notification bell located beside the subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my Discord channel. It is small, but it is growing, and I am usually there at least a couple times a day if I have the free time, because I do have it on mobile. I'll leave a link to that, my Twitter, and everything else in the comment section down below. This has been the narrative-driven indie horror game Tether by Free Sphere Entertainment, a small team of, I believe it was seven developers, and I think they've outdone themselves. I love when small teams create stuff that is so nice. I already gave my critique in the video. I'll be sure to just give them a message on my thoughts personally. Thank you guys for uh, telling me about this demo. I appreciate you seeking me out. I'm a small content creator, and I appreciate you giving me the time of day. Until next time, guys, this has been Tether. I am Euclid, and I will see all of you horror fans in the next video.